time for Media Watch. James Creedon is with us uh, here in the studio. Good to see you, James. Likewise, Mike. Now, um, on Monday, there was a uh, France 24 RFE exclusive photograph of um, what could have been, or was claimed to be by the person who took it, um, the body of an Islamist rebel in North Mali. Now, our source was claiming it was Mokhtar bel Mokhtar, but other sources say it could have been Abu Zaid. Right. But then again, there are others, including the French government, who say it's neither man. We're not sure. Can you clarify any of this? Not really, but I'll, 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 I'll give more detail on what we can clarify. <laughs> um, as you said, Mark, and we, can, we have the photo here of, of the, the three it's, it is, photos. It is, it, is, it is quite a disturbing uh, photograph of a, of a mobile camera with this photo on it. There it is in the middle. Yeah? That's right, in the middle. And there is the, the body of what is almost certainly a dead Islamist rebel in the north of Mali. Uh, the Chadian army was involved. Chad, of course, neighbouring country to Mali. Here on the left, you have one of the Al-Qaeda Al in the Islamic Maghreb leaders, Mukhtar bel Mukhtar. And on the right, you have Abu Zaid, another leader. Now, Arafai, as we were saying, uh, was very careful in how it, 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 it expressed that, as was France 24, saying, look, that these are reports that, it, that the person featuring in this photo is uh, bel Mukhtar. Now, but the weird, bizarre thing is pretty much the same photo. In fact, the same photo taken by a Chadian soldier. And this time, Harry Match got that photo uh, from a Chadian journalist. So it went through a slightly different channel for RFI France 24, and it came via a Chadian journalist to Parry Match. And you can see there, if you zoom in, what is uh, what they identify here on the right as um, a bearded Islamist rebel who they identify as Abu Zaid. So two different individuals, one body. And uh, then you had people speaking to France 24 later from the Mauritanian news agency Sahara Media saying that it is in fact neither man. And uh, now Sahara Media, it's worth pointing out, is yeah. the, the medium through which Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb makes its uh, pronouncements, if you like. Right. They, they, it all comes through them. So this, we could say, is Al-Qaeda's line. That's right. That's right. And uh, uh, Abdallah Mohamedi, who is the head of the Sahara Media, who, as you say, as Al-Qaeda speak through very often, mm -hmm. he says that, in fact, Abel Mukhtar is alive and that he will soon issue a public declaration. All we can say from all of that is a whole lot of confusion. One photo that doesn't really, that isn't absolutely conclusive. It depends on how much you believe the sources. And uh, what's interesting to look at is actually the tweets of the photographer in question, or the journalist in question from Chad, who brought that photo to Paris Match, Abdel Nassar Garboa. Uh, he says, uh, you know, that Abdu, Abzu, Abu Zaid is dead and that the there is proof of that. And he also says, hold on a minute, Cocorico journalists or uh, French, French journalists. Yes. Uh, nobody questioned the death of Bin Laden and there was no photo. So he's saying, look, there was no photo for Bin Laden. Here we have a photo, so isn't surely that more credible? Uh, it depends who the photo is, I suppose. But the sad thing is it is a human being who is dead. Let's not forget that. But uh, it's a very, very difficult circumstance. Mm. And of course, uh, the journalist from RFI, uh, Majurasa Nako, uh, got the photograph via a Chadian soldier who That's insisted right. that it was... That's right. ...Mokhtar bel Mokhtar. That's so right. there we go. Yeah. So we're none the wiser. Next to Russia, it's been 60 years since the death of uh, Joseph uh, Stalin, the great dictator, who some people uh, still try to justify and say he was actually quite a good guy. That's right. And here we have on uh, Der Spiegel, uh, Germany's uh, magazine uh, with its English language version, a report. If we could take a look at it, Stalin cult alive and well in Russia six decades later. Apparently one in two people in Russia think that uh, Stalin was... Um, quite the good guy and did a lot of good things for Russia. Um, this is an interesting piece here, Mark. It's uh, by the uh, Russian group Memorial. Now, what they've done is they've put together a map of the city of Moscow. And here, from the 1930s through to the 1950s, you have all the different people who had uh, rather sorry ends, detailed in, by their addresses and the number of people shot or who died in, at a particular residence in Moscow City. Take a look at that. That's Moscow City. So and it's somebody, covered with the traces of... So almost everybody must have known someone yeah. or of someone who yeah. was done away with in the Stalin purge. That's right, 30s, 40s and 50s. So I think this is a way for a memorial to, well, memorialise or, or try to have people remember Shocking that stuff. it wasn't all, you know, consolidation of empire and all of that during 30s and 40s and 50s. There were a lot of people who suffered during that time as well. So I think their idea is to remind Russian internet users of that. Okay, far bigger killer than uh, the Nazis put together. There That's we go. right. Sad stuff. James, thank Thanks you very Mark. much indeed. Thank you for that reaction online. James Creedon with Media Watch. Time for a short break. After that, we're back with more news. The sport, of course. Big match happening tonight. And the culture. Stay with us. You're watching Live in Paris.